I can already tell looking at this, it's just gonna transform the whole look of the car. So this is the tentative plan for the wrap on the Supra. Like I said, I'm kind of 50-50 on the wing if I'm gonna wrap the spoiler or not, but everything that you see here that is gloss black, that is going to be wrapped the um, satin orange that we're doing on the car. Now the only thing that's probably gonna be wrapped different is gonna be the roof, which we're gonna keep that gloss black. We're still gonna wrap it to protect the paint, but we're gonna do kind of like a gloss black that is probably a little bit less metallic. So if you guys actually look pretty close to this, in this paint, it has a really um, strong metallic flake to it. And so we're probably gonna do something that's just a little bit more of like a clean finish so that it'll kind of contrast to the orange a little bit better. And then the other thing that we'll wrap most likely would be the door handles gloss black. Again, I'm not 100% on that, might do it in the orange, but most of the car, everything again that's gloss black is gonna be orange. And so that's the tentative plan, but things always change when we're halfway done with the wrap. So we'll kind of see what happens with the finished product. So probably one of the most unique and exciting parts of this particular build is gonna be the spoiler. So this is super similar to the spoiler that was on the MK4 Supras that you'd be able to get from the factory. Now, the thing that I'm actually kind of torn on about this spoiler is whether I make it body colored, kind of what they did with the MK4 Supras or leave it exposed since it's carbon fiber. It's really nice carbon fiber. Actually, it looks absolutely insane, but it's gonna bring a ton of road presence to the car just having such a huge spoiler there in the back. And I've actually never done anything like this so it'll be exciting to drill holes into a brand new car so if you guys haven't um, seen or met Doug before he is our first certified partner with Tron Auto Lab out of the Midvale area and kind of give us I guess like a rundown of what we're gonna have to do to get the spoiler onto the back of the Supra because it's so, probably not gonna be as simple as just throwing it on and no it. first we'll have to test fit it so after we wrap the car we'll set it up there and kind of test fit it, make sure everything's centered and perfectly lined up and then uh, we'll pretty much mark the outline of the spoiler with tape so that uh, we can make sure it's still centered. Take measurements, pre-drill our holes, and then we will run hardware up through the trunk lid to hold the spoiler down. And then also another thing that I like to use is I'll use a 3M double-sided tape because one, it helps stick the spoiler, and two, it makes it watertight so you don't have any water runs into your trunk or anything like that. Um, and that's just one of the many things that we do here and that's why we partnered with Tron is they have a wide variety of stuff that they want to do to these cars. We're able to help them out with most of it. So we've actually made some changes on what we're gonna be doing to the Supra. As you can see, a lot of the Supras have already been wrapped at this point. So we already have the kind of like whole top portion of the Supra wrap. Now, the changes that we have made actually pertain to the spoiler and then the side of the Supra and then on the roof. So we're gonna leave the spoiler exposed carbon fiber and then we're getting a printed carbon fiber to match the spoiler that's gonna go on the roof here. So this roof that's black right now will just have a printed carbon fiber. So it'll kind of still give that same contrast you can see now with the orange over to the black. And then the other thing we've changed is there's some fake vents here on the side. I know they're fake, but still they look pretty cool. And we're gonna have those wrapped in carbon fiber just to create some contrast here on the side of the car so that's not just this like mass of orange. And so then there'll be some nice contrast there. And so those are kind of the changes that we're doing with the Super just to give it kind of like a nicer overall look. But the biggest thing is to create a little bit more contrast. So I'm super excited with this build on my Supra. It's turned out absolutely amazing. So the car's not fully done with the wrap. We still have a couple things that we have to do in terms of the wrap. So you guys notice that the little side blade thing, vent things, whatever you wanna call them, those still aren't put on. We do have to do the carbon fiber print on that. And then also on the roof as well. But just seeing the contrast between the darker elements on the car and this orange, it just completely transforms the car. It's just so bright, so vibrant. And the next thing that we are doing is gonna be the spoiler today. So this is gonna be pretty exciting. 
we have the kind of like setup here for where we're gonna drill in the hole. So there's a couple little dots here on the back on either side on the tape. That's where the holes are gonna be drilled in. And then obviously the spoiler is just gonna be put in. It'll be a relatively quick process to get that done. Obviously it'll be kind of scary because we're drilling into a brand new car, but it'll look crazy to have the massive carbon fiber wing over here on the rear. So one of the other elements that we did at Doug's recommendation was a satin finish on the wheels. So the wheels already had this little kind of like gloss finish on some of them. And so what Doug did was he added a satin finish so it kind of goes from like the gloss to the satin on the wheels. It's a really good look, it's super unique. And obviously it goes with the character of the wrap because we're gonna have obviously the satin finish here on the orange and then down to the gloss elements that aren't on the car yet but they will be on. And then another huge challenge with this wrap was the hood on the Supra. It's just absolutely massive. And so it took a lot of working just to get this stretched out. You guys can see the hood obviously starts all the way here, goes down here, and then all the way over to the front. Most car hoods usually kind of have like a cutout here in this little area, but the Supra, it is pretty much the whole front end of the car. So a huge challenge, but it turned out absolutely amazing. And yeah, the front end of this car, I didn't love it in black, but now I love the look of the front end of this car just because of the contrast between the different elements on it. So we've got the holes drilled in the Supra now and we're gonna be getting the wing installed at this point. So basically just screwing it in, making sure everything's even and all that. And yeah, it's gonna look crazy. Like I can't really tell looking at this, it's just gonna transform the whole look of the car. I'm really excited to see what this turns out. And once we have the rest of the carbon fiber accents on the car, it's just all gonna be pulled together and it's gonna look really, really good. This is just absolutely insane. Completely transforms the car. And I'm glad that we went with leaving this as the exposed carbon fiber because the contrast between the orange and this, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. But like, this looks like a completely new car. It really doesn't look like the same car it was before. And I, I'm so excited for this thing to be done. But with the new spoiler on, oh, that, that it looks crazy. It really does. I don't, I don't know if you like, I hope the video captures this well because it's just, it's a new, it's a completely new car. So we just finished putting the spoiler on and it has completely transformed the Supra. It's just absolutely massive there on the back end and having it fully exposed carbon fiber just gives it this super cool sporty look to it. And it just creates this massive contrast against the orange because this orange is just so bright. It's not being captured on camera properly but just having the little carbon fiber accent, well not little, the massive carbon fiber accent that is the wing just makes it look so much better on the car itself. And then we are gonna be getting the roof done shortly and then with the little side blades as well. And again, that'll kind of create another level of contrast with the carbon fiber elements on the car, but I couldn't be happier with the installation process on the wing. I mean, it just happened super quick, but just also the look of it, it completely exceeded my expectation. And then another cool thing with the installation of this particular spoiler on the Supra is just the peace of mind. So the spoiler is actually really firm onto the car. So you don't have to worry about it going over the place or anything like that, which is really nice. Another cool aspect of it is the deck lid on the Supra is actually plastic. So drilling through that, you don't have to worry about rust or anything because plastic can't rust. So you get the peace of mind there. And then the other thing is the weather seal that keeps the water out of the trunk is within the spoiler area. So you don't have to worry about having to seal up anything. You don't have to worry about water leaking through the holes that you just drilled. So again, super easy and you get peace of mind as well with it. So now to match the massive carbon fiber spoiler that we've put on the Supra, we are doing printed carbon fiber on the roof and then on the side blades. Now I know that some of you might think, hey, you should just do real carbon fiber for there. It's pretty expensive. So this is a lower cost option that still looks just as good as carbon fiber. Most people really won't be able to tell the difference and then it'll perfectly match the spoiler and then also just like an ease of access thing. So obviously, taking off the whole roof off the car. I mean, it's not really practical for most people. So just being able to do a printed carbon fiber wrap over, it's just gonna be a lot easier and it's gonna look just as good.
Something that I really want to hit home with you guys is just the level of customization that can happen with Tron Auto Lab and also just the advice that you can get from our certified partners because a lot of these guys have been in the game for a long time. They've been wrapping a lot of vehicles, customizing a lot of vehicles, and so they have a pretty good idea and a pretty good eye for what looks good and what doesn't look good. And a really good example is with this Supra, for example. So originally my idea on the car was to fully wrap the wing and have the whole car be bright orange, which would look pretty cool, but having the accenting of the carbon fiber wing and doing the carbon fiber wrap on the roof and then on the side blades as well completely transforms the car. And then it's probably a little bit hard to tell from this angle. You guys will get a little bit of a closer view on it, but the wheels, we did a matte black on the wheels to accent the wheels. Originally, I was like, oh, let's just do gloss black on the wheels. But again, I got a recommendation from one of our certified partners and getting that recommendation helped me kind of visual or get a better visualization of just a cooler build on the car and just how it turns out. Again, exceeded my expectation. And I think that the car just from these recommendations that I got turned out way better than if I had just done this all by myself and had just been like, yeah, just do whatever I want instead of taking some recommendation from it. And another great part of the whole system with Tron Auto Lab is the scheduling process and then just how easy it is to get your vehicle put into the system to get modified. So one of my best friends is actually going to be wrapping his Mercedes pretty soon. And he just wanted to test out our website just to see what it was like for a person to go through the whole system. And he said that it was one of the best made apps for him to just go through. It was super easy to put his car's information in and then also the modifications that he wanted as well. He said the whole system, it was completely streamlined line and so that's one of the most important things is just being able to put your car in having that ease of access to be like hey I want this thing I want this thing on my car I want this thing and then just boom it gets sent over and you can get off on your way and get it modified If you guys are interested in going through this application to see just how easy it is to put your vehicle in and put all the modifications that you want onto your vehicle, go to tronautolab.com and request a quote and you'll be able to see how streamlined the process is.